Along this coastline, hundreds of families, many of them native Hawaiian, have been forced to move onto the beaches, living in tents. They've been slowly pushed out of neighborhoods as rents across Hawaii continue to escalate. But even before government began to intercede, the people of Waianae sought solutions on their own. Fifteen years ago, the small community of Kahumana began planning transitional housing for homeless families. They called the project Ohana Ola o Kahumana, a family life of Kahumana. This year, they've completed enough units for 48 families. We, we actually applied for this place, you know, to get in. Almost a year it took us to get here. So they called me somewhere between Thanksgiving of last year, you know. Then, they, then two months later, they called me. They said the unit was open. Then I came. Then when I moved in in January, I, then I found out, you know, it, that the people that, you know, that they also came from the beaches and everything. These new villages built in circular clusters replicate traditional Hawaiian villages where children are at the center of family and the adults work together to help each other. The um, original sort of concept of bringing people into a circle so they could all sort of create the extended ohana and support system that they really needed and that they could sort of watch each other and uh, take care of each other and make sure that, you know, the children were fine and, and it worked, it worked. So that when we went into the expansion of that, we took that cluster concept and expanded on it and created four more clusters, 34 more units. We have this beautiful project now that has space, it's not dense. So it has this beautiful view of the mountains, lots of open grassy areas for the kids. It's secluded off the street because it's a flag lot sort of, so it has an access road that goes down. And um, all of those were not sort of planned, those were sort of the gifts of the, of the property. This project began back in the 1970s by sociologist Francis Sadao. By the early 1990s, the first 14 units of transitional housing were open. Francis, as a sociologist, was very much more interested, not in the healing aspect so much, but in the social problems of the coast. So she saw this opportunity to address the homeless situation. She wrote some really interesting papers on from homelessness to home ownership. She had vast imagination and wonderful ideas of how you could transition and continue this care and support so that eventually, you know, you would achieve ownership of your own house. And she really was um, looking at this problem of homelessness way back when it wasn't newsworthy at all. Annie Walenta, who had joined the community as an artist, has brought the transitional housing to completion. To do that, she raised more than $10 million and more than tripled the number of homes available to homeless families. Today, Ohana Ola Okahumana serves more than 220 people, most of them children. It also offers social services that give families new life skills so that they can go back into the community strong and independent. For Pacific Network, this is Johan Buit reporting from Waianae.